Hi folks, Robin here. In today's film I'm going to show you exactly what I wear when out hiking on the hills from head to toe. Let's get stuck right in. Okay, to kick this off we'll start with the beanie hat. This is just a classic beanie from Mountain Equipment. When it's not so chilly I like to wear a baseball cap. This is an outdoor research one. I really like this. Very comfortable, I have to say. So this here is my tilly hat. I've just bought this earlier on this year. It was in the in the sale. They're £75 normally, I got this for about 40 odd. These last a lifetime. I just hope I don't look too grandad or Indiana Jones in it though. Okay, so moving down to the torso. This here is my Bergus sort of fleece jacket. I wear this all the time, I love it. I actually won this from a Taizo Instagram competition by posting a photo, so that was quite good. If it's too hot for the fleece, this will obviously come off. And underneath I'll have this Montaigne, this is a synthetic merino blend. As you see it's a few years old, it's got more holes in a tea bag, so I am going to have to replace this at some point. But I like this, um, I think that was about £55 and I think having the blend is the best of both because you get the strength of the man-made fibres and then you get the, the qualities of the merino, so you've got some warmth and obviously they don't smell half as quick as just synthetic tops. Glove wise, I've got these packable head ones. These are just cheap ones. You can use your phone with them as well. If it's a bit colder still, I'll opt for the Montaigne Prism gloves, which are here. These pack up tiny. Watch wise, I don't go in for smart watches, so I have this here. It's a Sunto All Black Core. I just use this for my time, what height I'm at, and that's pretty much it. Oh, if you take off your wrist you get a good temperature reading as well for when you're camped up at night. During lockdown I also bought this. This is the Casio equivalent. It's a bit more retro, but Argos had a sale and I thought why not. Moving on to trousers. I have had these for years. I got this pair for my 30th birthday and I am 39 this year, just to give you an idea how old these are. They've been with me everywhere, I've seen so many Munros. These ones are a wee bit past it. I went and ripped them there though, I got them caught on a nail. So I have actually replaced these with the Baltic Blue equivalent and I'm looking forward to trying them out. But these, I really have lasted the test of time. If I hadn't ripped them there, these would have lasted another few years I reckon. I always wonder why people spend hundreds of pounds on quick drying, lightweight gear and then they wear cotton boxing shorts. So I go with, I've got Puma, I've got Adidas equivalents and these, they're just, they don't chafe as much, they dry quicker and they're just so much better than cotton. I don't know why you'd wear cotton boxers, but there you go. Moving on to the socks. This is the Bridgedale sock liners. These help reduce chances of blisters and so I wear them underneath and then I have the smart wool. These are a mid-weight sock which are ideal for free season use. They're not too thick but they're thick enough to give you some cushioning and again they don't smell as bad because of obviously merino wool. I will touch on footwear. Footwear is a very personal thing because we all have different sized feet but however these are my hand wags and the reason I bought these is they're designed for people with wider feet and or a bunion. I do unfortunately have a mild bunion on my left foot. So these are one of the few boots I've found that actually fit my feet without hurting. They're Gore-Tex lined, they're grippy. You see they're starting to wear out the front there. I really like these and I will be buying another pair. Right, so when it's really hot and the weather forecast is looking ding dong, you know the temperatures are going to be pretty high throughout your trip. I would wear this little ghillie for if it's a wee bit chilly at the summit and underneath the ghillie, that's an Arterix by the way. Now, I'm not sponsored by Taizo by the way, but um, we got these free from a Taizo event. <laughs> but um, I would wear this or a, a similar sort of wicked t-shirt, synthetic. Um, again, these tend to smell after a, a day or two. I do prefer merino wool, but this is just for shorter, quick day, day trips. I don't wear shorts very often, I didn't want to spend a fortune, so I turned to Decathlon and these 4 class shorts are £25, I've got a pair on just now as well. 
they're 25 pound, I think I just mentioned that. Uh, they're comfortable, they're lightweight, they dry quick. I was actually tempted to buy the trouser version of these, but I decided just to go with what I knew and I stuck with the Montaigne Terra pants. But yes, really good shorts, like these a lot. These socks are what I'd wear if I'm wearing trail shoes, trail runners. So I've just got a pair of sort of ankle height Bridgedale socks. These are quite thin, but they put the cushioning in the important places, obviously the toes and your heels, and I find them pretty comfortable. They're quick drying because there's not a lot of material there. For a bit more comfort and longer trips, I've gone for the darn tough ones. And these are cracking socks, I have to say. I've only worn these once or twice, but I'm impressed so far. Summer footwear. These are the Saucony Peregrine ISO shoes. These are brilliant. As you can see, they've got a very aggressive sole. They've got a rock plate here to protect your sole. Got a lot of cushioning at the back and there's a four millimeter lift from toe to heel. I find these incredibly comfortable and they're brilliant. No complaints whatsoever. Well, one minor complaint actually, you do get a slight bit of heel lift um, and I've read this before. However, I've never had any blisters from that. It's just something you have to get used to. But otherwise, yeah, I've actually bought another pair of these and they're on their way because they've brought a new model and I just think these are, you know what it's like. Next up is insulation. This here is the Amington Equipment Superflux jacket. It's synthetic rather than down and it weighs about 440 grams. This I'd wear at, at the summit if it was chilly or if I'm out camping for later on in the evening when the, the temperatures drop. Rain gear, I have the Mountain Equipment Firefly jacket. This is going to be needing replaced soon. It's starting to wear out a wee bit. Uh, it's still waterproof, but you can see there, the Gore-Tex there is just starting to fray a wee bit. So, hmm, I think that'll be getting replaced soon. I do like that, I might buy the newer version of that, see what's out at the time. Waterproof trousers, I've gone for the Bergos pack light, equivalent to the jacket there. They're both pack lights, and these have never really let me down either. Again, they're getting on a bit. There's a rip here somewhere when I had crampons on. Where is it? You can see I've tried to patch up there. But uh, yeah, they're really good too. Alright folks, I hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions about anything that I wear, please just drop the question below in the comment section. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button as well. Otherwise, I'm going to get a cold drink and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!